Have you ever heard of Lunchly? I'm sure you have, because so has uh, just about everyone else on the planet. And I wasn't really going to talk about it until KSI just completely embarrassed himself like two days ago now. Basically, if you're not caught up, KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast have this shitty knockoff Lunchable brand called Lunchly. It's a knockoff Lunchable, like I just said. It's essentially just the Lunchable format of just like this, this processed piece of shit little food that's delicious. So really, there's no need to reinvent the wheel here. Um, but they decided to and they didn't do it well. Um, but yeah, it's basically just a, a, a small little fake piece of food. Uh, but instead of a Capri Sun and like a little crunch bar, you've got a feastable bar and a, and a mini prime. Ooh, that's crazy. This is an unhealthy food product being peddled to children by their favorite content creators. It's it's gross. It's not right. Case I tries to defend himself in this embarrassing fucking video that we'll get to in a second, but I I, I just want to yap for a minute. He tries to defend himself by uh you know going after the valiant hero that is yet to be named by saying, oh well you sold toys to kids and it's it's not the same thing. Plastic toys do not have an adverse effect on a child's health unless they eat them and, and they're definitely not advertised to be like that so i personally don't really see a problem with uh selling toys but we'll get more into that once jj crosses this bridge um i don't want to jump the shark too much here so i say uh we just get into this because it's genuinely embarrassing the amounts of cope and insecurity that leaks out of this fucking video. It's almost contagious. Anyways, let's do this. <laughs> oh man. Uh, today, we're doing a Reddit video. <laughs> this should be fun. Uh, but we're all fun doing two. Lunch sleep. First of all, my God, that fucking laugh. I don't know anything about KSI. I'm calling it right now. That is not his real fucking laugh. I look at his face as he does this. That's not the face of a man experiencing real joy. That is a face of pain, a face of discomfort. I don't know how to, how to explain this, this feeling, this behavior that he's exhibiting here. I'm going to play a little, little Reddit armchair psychologist here. He's doing this thing. Ugh, spoilers for the rest of the video. Uh, after he says something stupid and doesn't know what to say after and just for some reason just can't put a jump cut, he'll laugh like a fucking hyena at nothing. Absolutely nothing. We'll see some more examples of this. I'm not I'm not just going to say it here and we'll never see it again. You'll see it every goddamn seven seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, me, Mr. Beast, and Logan Paul have launched Lunchly. Uh, if you've had Lunchables, this is mainly for my American audience. If you had Lunchables, uh, yeah, I guess they were good at the time. Well, we've made something better. If you don't believe me, try it out for yourself. The fucking gall, the chutzpah, the ironclad balls, and not in a good way, that this man has to plug his shitty fucking product that nobody wants or likes on the video addressing the fact that nobody wants or likes his shitty fucking product. It is, oh my God. He's playing like 6D chess. I don't know what the hell is the strategy is, but it, um, pff, holy shit. Oh my you, but the chocolate in America sucks. <laughs> that is what it is right there. They fucking hyena cackle. Ain't nothing funny. First of all, chocolate in America does not suck. Hershey's sucks. Hershey's tastes like cat piss. We can all agree on that one, and I know that's what he's referring to. I'm sure he can't call it out by name, but I'm still gonna call bullshit on this one. American chocolate is good, and we didn't need another one. And I think a lot of British people can uh, verify that as well. Oh yeah, because I'm sure Britain is the the, the place of chocolate. The, the masters of flavor over there in Britain. Yeah, that's what they're known for good tasting food but i gotta admit jimmy's new formula when it comes to chocolate it's very good <laughs> i think i had the cookies and cream oh my god so good i literally messaged him like brother send me more <laughs> no other flavors jj <laughs> you'd think if jimmy's chocolate was so good you'd have some other flavors just hmm, strange just a, just a, just an idea just a thought hmm, 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 hmm. i don't know there's a golf cart passing me right now. Hmm, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, JJ's cooked, bro. 
<laughs> and then it's a tweet from Jack Septicai. You mess with Dan TDM, you mess with the YouTube. Fuck me, that's cringe. Uh, <laughs> I let that one play out in full so you can experience just the sheer fucking cr the, the the actual cringe of what he said. I don't really need to say this, but I'm going to anyways, because if I didn't, where would the video be? It's just such pathetic coping, right? The, to, to laugh off what is clearly true and hurts you. I, I can... I know that is an insecure laugh, and I, I'm, I'm gonna seem like a fucking Sheldon Cooper, you know, like a fucking r just like, well, obviously, obviously he's insecure, obviously he can't come up with a good argument to save his goddamn life. With the straw man that he makes in this fucking video, he could, he could scare away an entire fucking murder of crows. It's insanity. So Jacksepticeye says, you mess with Dan TDM, you mess with YouTube. And you might not know what that means, so let me just break this down a little bit. Actually, no, I'm not going to, because KSI does it for us. And honestly, that's better than I could even do it. So let's just put a pin in the whole Jacksepticeye thing, because honestly, I think he did this in a shitty fucking order. So let's just let's just rearrange these sections here for a minute. Obviously released Launchly, and Dan TDM replied. This is what he had to say. What happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. All right, shut up, JJ. I'm just going to do it for you because you clearly can't read this like a normal fucking person. Like, it's I'm not even someone who's like smart enough to pick out all the, the, the intricacies and vicissitudes of someone's bullshit lies and arguments. But this one, I can I know for a goddamn fact you are saying this to completely discredit an illegitimate real concern, a real criticism. So instead of you doing what you're doing, I'll read it out like a normal person, and guess what? It's gonna sound reasonable. What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. Seems pretty fucking reasonable to me. I mean, that's that's just a, a genuine criticism of just this, this scumminess of these three douchebags. You know, they're like on the fucking Mount Rushmore of YouTube assholes. You've got like KSI, Jake Paul, and Mr. Beast, obviously. But then like you've also got fucking, I don't know, rice gum and then throw like Logan Paul up there too. It's just so frustrating because they know, they know they can get away with it because their fucking fans are children that don't know any better. They know this shit. It's not just a coinky dink that they're just selling toys fucking drinks and candy bars and uh, lunchables. It's all for kids because kids don't have an eye for quality. They don't know that they're getting scammed. They don't know that you guys are assholes who are getting fucking sued like daily. And Dan TDM, basically my second dad, calls them out on this very real concern. And mind you, Dan TDM is an actual father, right? This man has and is currently caring for a human life. He is more aware of what is okay and acceptable for a child than any of those three goobers would ever know. And it's just ridiculous that KSI even tries to clap back at all. And he claps back in such a stupid fucking way. Let's just keep listening. I totally forgot we were watching a video. Do better! Do better! See how fucking dramatic it is? Now, if you read it like a normal person, do better. Now it sounds like you're being held accountable for some shitty thing you're doing by someone who knows what they're fucking talking about. But if you say it like, do better, then yeah, it's gonna sound like a fucking stupid idiot. But yeah, it's just this attempt to try and paint Dan and Jacksepticeye as just these bumbling fucking buffoons who were over dramatic about this whole thing, despite the very real <coughs> severity and immorality of just, of selling just straight shit products to children who don't know any better and, and blindly trust you no matter what. It's just fucked up. Now, for those of you that don't know, I actually came off Twitter uh, a while ago because I think my feed was just fucked. 
But yeah, I was just seeing some crazy weird stuff to the point where, I don't know, it was messing with my psyche, messing with my aura. He, he goes into this little thing. I'm like, oh, Twitter was so bad for my mental health. It was, it was so toxic and full of bad people. Oh, you're so cool and better than everyone else because you left Twitter. Wow. And also, you're so fucking insightful. Yeah, Twitter sucks. <laughs> Who could have fucking guessed? This is such an unnecessary fucking tangent. All you had to say, if you were so hell bent on even mentioning it, is like, yeah, I'm coming out of retirement and stepping back into the ring, getting dirty in the pig pen, and I'm, I'm fucking, I'm coming back to Twitter and I'm fighting all the, the keyboard warriors. You know, that's something you could have said. If you want to put that in your script for next time, you don't even got to pay me. You don't even got to credit me. Fucking do it. I don't care. Don't give us this fucking little sob story about how it made you sad when you were looking at OnlyFans girls on there and then you, you scrolled and saw a cartel beheading. No one fucking cares JJ no one fucking cares just fucking get to it irony occurs in literature and in life whenever a person says something or does something that departs from what they or we expect them to say or do so this is what I said looks like crap to me while showing his toys that he sold to kids <laughs> This is just providing them with fun shit to play with. You don't get that from Lunchly. You want them to fucking make like an origami swan out of the box? Dame TDM toys, as not fantastic as they are, are at least reusable, nutritionally acceptable, and not fucking marketed as a healthy or better alternative to anything else on the market. It's just, it's so dumb. It's such an awful fucking argument. It's two completely different worlds. It's putting your face on some fucking YouTuber toys and having an entire fucking brand that sells food to children. Do I need to keep hammering this home? How does this benefit your fans, Dan? <laughs> you, it's giving them something they want. I was a kid who wanted Dan TDM merch, JJ. I wanted a little little figurine of Dan, you know? And I, I, I got it. It was cool, all right? It was fucking awesome. I got what I wanted. His product was what I wanted. Yours is the complete fucking opposite. Yours, JJ, gets shit out the next day. Now, obviously, people didn't realize that I was sh shining a mirror in his face. You're not shining a fucking mirror on him. If you are, he's a goddamn vampire because he's not showing up on that goddamn mirror because he's not a hypocrite for that. And he's also not a hypocrite for what you're about to fucking say. He was sponsored, then promoted, and made a whole video on Munch Pack. A monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. Now what? Oh my god. He he promoted a monthly subscription box of food and candy. Now I, I don't have that sponsored segment up right now, but I'm almost 156.78% sure not one word that Dan uttered in that video was this shit is better for you than anything else on the market. Not once. Did he ever market it as, as a good alternative or, or a healthier alternative to, to anything else? He just simply was like, hey, this is a product. If you want it, here it is. And if you marketed Lunchly like that, like, hey, here's just another thing we put out on the market. It's a cool little product. If you want it and you like what we, like what we do, get it. I don't think anyone would really have as big of a problem with that. But the fact that you, all three of you, are marketing Lunchly as this this holy grail of nutritional value and substance, it's just not that. But kids don't know that. They'll really think this shit is good. And it's not. That's the difference between you and Dan. As far as I know, he's not still doing this. Not even that getting sponsored by a fucking food sub box is even like immoral or scummy. He doesn't even do that now, to my knowledge. He's grasping at straws, but little does he know that those straws are fucking oiled up. They're P. Diddy straws. Some just decided just to be racist. <laughs> when a nigga like KSI does nothing in life and still gets paid for it in something other than welfare or food stamps, it's noteworthy. It's like how monkeys in the jungle have started to understand the concept of tools brother is just being racist <laughs> you see what he did there he gave one fringe example of someone being a, a racist bastard and that's not cool but from what i've seen that is 
That's not even the minority. That's somehow below the minority because there is so much more to attack you guys for than some stupid bullshit like that. You guys are absolute scumbags to the goddamn core and everyone is calling you out on that. And instead of addressing actual criticisms, he only provides one example of someone being racist to paint all of us as racist bigots who don't know what the fuck we're talking about. And that is so disingenuous and it is so fucking scummy and it's exactly what I thought it would do. Uh, they kept moving the goalposts and being like, Oh, well, Dan only did this once. He's only made a video once about sweeties uh, to his audience, so you're wrong. How is that moving the fucking goalpost? It's, it's ridiculous. Like, sure, if he had actually done something morally reprehensible, it wouldn't matter if he had only done it once, it would still be not great. But what he's doing isn't, isn't morally wrong. He was calling you out for doing something actually fucked. Dan didn't fucking do anything wrong. He was just getting sponsored by a food box that if you want to have it, you can buy it. Same thing goes with Lunchly, I guess, but at the same time, that candy box was not advertised the same way that Lunchly is. The biggest problem is the way you're advertising this. That's the thing. It's not what you're selling, although that does suck. It's the way you're selling it and how you're treating your product. That's the fucking problem. If you just type in Dan TDM sweets, there's countless of videos of him eating sweets, promoting sweets to his audience, but cool. You know, but again, this was another complaint that I heard a lot. They were like, <laughs> I know I'm about to do the voice again. <laughs> oh my God. He's not allowed to eat fucking candy. Oh, heaven forbid. Oh my goodness gravy. He eats candy for a video. Oh, again, it's completely different. In none of these videos does he ever say anything about the candy being healthy, good for you, better than anything else on the market, you know, made with good ingredients. None of that. He never makes that claim. He is just trying fucking candy. It is not the same thing. Where was the same energy when Ryan Trahan released sweets? Where was the same energy when FaZe Rogue released sweets? Now, I don't know anything about these guys and their fucking candy, but again, did they market these things as healthier, better, tastier? Better ingredients? Did they? Probably a little bit, but definitely not to the same degree that you guys are. I'm not seeing people going crazy towards them on Twitter. You know why? It's because no one fucking cares about them. I've realized why. It's because people just hate us. <laughs> because you're the biggest fucking bastards on the entire fucking platform. I cannot fathom just the formation of Lunchly in general. Mr. Beast. KSI and Jake Paul, like they're they're forming the Avengers of hateable people, of of dickheads. And now he's trying to play the victim, like, oh, wh why are we so hated? Oh, the, uh, people just hate us. Yes, we hate you because you you suck. People hate Logan Paul. Okay, they hate Mr. Beast and they hate me on twitter okay oh it was it was logan paul i was talking about jake i mean they're they're interchangeable i mean did any of you even notice that i said jake instead of logan probably not twitter is just a cesspool of the most <laughs> depressed people on this earth <laughs> it's like 4chan but worse <laughs> it's like 4chan but with lower iq that is what twitter is and that's one of the reasons why i had to leave because i just felt like i was getting dumber <laughs> This is another manipulative little tactic here. He's he's giving us a, a, a just an objective truth that Twitter is full of sad, pathetic, mentally ill people. And yeah, that's 100% true. Twitter's an absolute cesspool of fuckery. Instantly discrediting everyone who's calling you out. And I mean, not to give too much credit to Twitter because honestly, everyone on every social media is calling these guys out. It's it's not just Twitter. So I'm not gonna sit here and defend Twitter that much, but it's everyone is outraged about this and rightfully so. It's stupid to just bring up the fact that Twitter is full of mentally ill fucks to instantly discredit any kind of criticism. It's, it's fucking stupid. Throughout the rest of this, he just reviews some memes on Reddit and I don't, I don't care about getting to that. We've kind of gotten into the meat and potatoes of what I'm talking about here. What I actually care about is the Dan TDM Jacksepticeye shit, because if you fucking 
Go after my boys. You better believe you're getting the fangs, goddammit. So now we're gonna do a little flashback. We're gonna cut back to the Jacksepticeye moment. We're gonna cut back into the V a little bit. Do a little bit of un unseen maneuver here. You've never seen this in a YouTube video. We're going back in time. So when Jacksepticeye says, you mess with Day and TDM, you mess with YouTube. And that's just a fact. Because I don't know if you guys know Day and TDM. If you don't, stop fucking watching. You're not welcome here. But come back so I can tell you. Day and TDM is a Minecraft YouTuber, one of the only ones who's not a pedophile. And it's he's awesome. He's I, I grew up watching him. He's basically one of the biggest reasons why I'm sitting here right now making this. And it's not just because I'm coming to his defense. It's he's just such a massive influence on me. And and he's such an important part of my formative years. And the same goes with Jacksepticeye. When you've got my, my two YouTube dads up against the big bad guys that I don't like, you better believe I'm going to be invested in this. So yeah, Jack comes to the rescue and is like, yeah, fuck you. We're, you know, it's it, it's like that scene in uh, Endgame where all the portals open up. It's, it's like that, you know. And now I want to derail this a little bit, you know, if you if you want to get off of the video now Because this is gonna derail a little bit. Uh, this is this is pretty much the end of the KSI reacting thing I just want to say fuck all of you for defending Mr. Beast Fuck all of you for being mad at Jacksepticeye when he said that Mr. Beast ruined the platform Genuinely and I mean this from the bottom of my heart Suck my penis down to the fucking base. Sean was 100% right when he fucking said that, that Jimmy ruined the platform. He made it this corporate paint by the numbers, follow the books, fucking research all the intricacies of the algorithm, change your editing style to be the most brain rotted fucking garbage of all time, make your videos fake and gay. It's just all this fucking shit that, that Mr. Beast pioneered that has ruined the platform irreparably. And I'm tired of pretending that it fucking hasn't. Anyone's defense the entire time, everyone's defense of this whole thing of like, oh, well, Jacksepticeye is technically true that YouTube's gotten fucked because of Jimmy's awful shitty fucking content but oh Jimmy gives away money he does good shit he's a good guy so who cares if the entire platform's getting fucked in the ass who cares cuz Jimmy's a good guy well guess what now I don't even care if if the war crime fucking allegations are, com are complete gobbledygook complete fucking hooey I don't care because I know for a fact that down deep down just fundamentally that Jimmy is a dickhead a bad guy and it is it has been evident from the first time he made philanthropic fucking videos he does not do it because he cares he does it for views and to shield himself from criticism and shit like this and everyone's defense is always oh he's done good things he's given people money he's fucking cleaned up beaches planted trees sure yeah he's done good shit that's cool what the fuck ever the platform that we're all on, the damn near irreplaceable platform, is in this disgusting corporate state because Jimmy Beast couldn't have any sort of integrity of his own. It makes me so fucking angry being on YouTube. This has been my dream since I was a fucking child. And the kind of landscape that I'm on right now is so fucking frustrating. You'd think with YouTube, right? That it's this platform where you just make whatever you want. You, you, you put out shit that you think is cool and people are like, wow, that's cool, I'll watch that. It used to be, it was so cool like that, huh? And, and somehow now all that content is just, oh, it's so boring. It's so outdated. Why make what you want to make when you can make what I want you to make? And I'm not even like complaining from personal experience all that much. I just hate seeing this trend for anyone in general on this platform. I hate how fake everyone is, how formulaic and generic and fucking predictable everything is. It makes the platform feel more soulless than ever. And that is so insane because the entire time that I've been watching YouTube, people have been complaining about it. And now in, in the state that we're in, I would love to go back to any of those fucking years. Sure, maybe this is the logical conclusion of, of a website that allows people to make money off of content they make themselves. But I can't help but be upset that we couldn't have had at least a little bit more time of making videos with actual integrity and passion. You know, I'm not gonna say my, my videos are art, but I care about what I make. I make this shit because I enjoy it. It, it might sound self-righteous, but I don't even care. It makes me so upset that 
people get onto this platform just to milk the algorithm for all it's worth, just to, you know, hack the system and make as much money as they can, get as much views as they can, and just, that's not what this is about. And, and I guess it's impossible to hold standards these days, impossible to keep a sacred thing. It's so fucking impossible for people to use their goddamn brains and just keep something sacred how it is to not fucking ruin something that is so simple, so easy to follow. It is, it's ridiculous to me. We can't have nice things around here because people just love to abuse the platform. They, they, they love to just not have any integrity or self-respect or anything like that. And Jimmy Beast was a goddamn pioneer in all of that. And when Jacksepticeye said that Mr. Beast was responsible for ruining the platform, and then all of you dogpiled on him, like, oh, how dare you say that to the, the, to the rich philanthropist Mr. Beast? Oh, he can do no wrong. I bet you feel real fucking stupid now, don't you? And if you don't, you should. Anyways, I, I think I'm done ranting. I've had this boiling up inside me for so long. You know, I'm finally able to share this shit, so I think that's all I've got to say. Um, I just hope this shit gets more interesting. I want to see Markiplier in, like, getting this shit. You know, fuck a Chadtronic up in there, too. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. See ya.